Hi everyone. I've been working on something that I've been having a lot of fun with and I really wanted to document it and make a little video about it. So I'm trying for the first time in my entire life to beat Pitfall for the Atari 2600. So this game is like, you know, 37 years old I think at this point and I never even realized you could beat this game until pretty recently. It, I always thought it was one of those games you just played and try to get a high score with. But come to find out, um, there is a way to beat it. And the way to beat the game is um, there are 255 screens and there are 32 treasures to collect. And there's a 20 minute timer. And you have to try to collect the, 20, the 32 treasures before the 20 minute timer runs out. The complicated part comes in that it is impossible to do without mapping it out because there are underground passages that are for every underground passage it is three of the above ground pa uh, screens so it gets really kind of confusing and complicated so you absolutely have to map this out and um, I'm gonna show you the map here that I did nothing yeah so this is <laughs> This is kind of, I'm gonna grab the camera and kind of explain what this kind of is, but this is how I map the game out. And of course this information is online, but I really have a lot of satisfaction out of um, doing it myself, you know, like, I, like it would be if I was a kid. So getting the graph paper out and the colored pencils and, and figuring out how to map this out has been really satisfying in and of itself. So I'm already having a blast doing this. Um, so now comes phase two, where I actually attempt to do what I've kind of calculated out here on my map. So it is gonna be, a ch it's more challenging than I, than I realized. Um, in fact, making this map alone was quite a challenge, uh, but very, very fun and satisfying. But um, I'm gonna grab the camera here and kind of explain the map to you. So here's the map. It is pretty sloppy because I was making it while I was playing and the timer is ticking. So I'm just, you know, kind of jotting things down as I'm going. But um, basically, I'm going to attempt to go left. There are two, I guess, obviously, you can either go right or left in a side-scroller. Um, but in this game, you can choose um, which way to go. And it, the, the map will wrap. So if you go left, eventually you'll get to the end and show back up at the first level or the first screen again. And same thing if you go right. So um, going left is much easier to play because the rolling logs and the alligators are easier to manage when you go left. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Somebody told me that they didn't think you could do it going left. Um, I really hope you can because that's what I've been kind of practicing and that's going to be a lot easier to do. So anyway, this is again very sloppy. I probably should make a better version of this just for the fun of it. but. You start here, there are 255, well, 254 plus, I didn't count start as, as the first screen. But anyway, for every, as you can see here, there are basically three different underground paths. Um, I, I labeled them with colors, and I only did the ones that I had to. As you notice, not all the underground passages are colored, because it really is not necessary for what I'm doing this for. This was just to figure out where the treasures were, which screens the treasures were on, and which paths to take and which ones not to take. And it kind of maps out. And then up here, I just kind of documented which screens have a passage that I'm going to utilize and where it pops back out from. So it, it may be confusing to <laughs> someone who doesn't know what, what um, who didn't make it themselves, uh, but it, this, is, this is effective for, for me. I think I've got it all plotted out here. So basically I'm starting here and going left and I know which screens have a underground passage to go down. And hopefully by following this, I will make it to the very last treasure on screen 249 as you go left. So I don't have to go to all 255 screens because the last treasure, I'm, I'm not even sure what happens, I think it just freezes up when you get the last treasure and stops. Um, I don't think there's any kind of music or, or dance or anything like that. So I'm eager to find out what happens. I believe it's just like a kill screen. But um, yeah, this is way more complicated than I realized, uh, which actually makes it more fun for me. So if I can pull this off, I will be very excited. And this will be very rewarding for me. Um, I've been playing this game since I was a little kid. And uh, at 43 years old, you know, do this, map this thing out and beat it will be very, very satisfying for me. So I hope I can pull it off. 
I'm going to set the camera up uh, old school, just kind of pointing the phone at the at the TV. I'm not going to do capture or anything like that because uh, I, don't, I don't feel like setting all that stuff up, and I'm not even sure if I could even pull it off. So I'm just going to kind of set my camera up and point it at the TV. It'll probably look pretty crummy. And I'm, like, I'm not going to probably show the whole 20 minutes if I can even do it. I'll probably edit it up a little bit so it's not so boring for you guys to watch. But um, I'm going to give it a shot here and uh, wish me luck. I'm super excited to give this a try. And hopefully, um, oh, and, and real quick, how my, my rules are going to go is you have three lives. I don't care about losing lives because you don't lose any points if you die. Um, so I'm not, I don't care if I die twice and, and, and finish it up on my third man. Um, I am going to try to do it without losing any points. And you lose points if you touch a log or fall down a pit or something like that. So I'm not worried about losing lives, but I do want to try to do this without losing any points and try to get a perfect score. And I think the perfect score is 114,000, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that's getting all 32 treasure th treasures without losing any points. So that is my goal. If I get far enough and I lose some points, I'm still going to keep on going and try to at least get the 32 treasures before the time runs out. So we will see if I can do it. So wish me luck. All right, guys, here goes attempt number one. I'm calling this attempt number one, even though this is like the fifth time I've started this. I'm finding that just talking to the camera is very distracting, and I keep making stupid mistakes early on. So I'm going to try not to talk too much. <laughs> every second of this game counts, so every screen you have to do efficiently, and you have to just keep moving. Um, I've heard people say that they got their last treasure with just a few seconds remaining. So every second counts. And as you can see going left, you don't have to jump over the barrels much because if you keep running, they're not going to hit you because you're running the same direction, obviously. Um, you'll only have to jump over the ones that are standing still, or if you have to wait for a vine, you'll have to jump over them, and that's pretty much it. So, And jumping on these crocodiles is easier going left. So I really hope I can do this going left. <laughs> All right, here's my first treasure on screen 17. Now I've got to go to screen 20 and go down, which will take me to screen 29. This is screen 20. But this is screen 23. And then this will be screen 26. Because it jumps, like I said, it jumps three screens down here. And this is 29. I also got to backtrack to 27 to get my second treasure. So this is the first instance where I've got to do a backtrack. I think there are two um, times I had to backtrack, if I'm not mistaken. And there's my second treasure. So this is going to take me to screen, this is 31, this is um, 34, yeah, 34, and this will take me all the way to 46. So I'm jumping way ahead by taking this passage, and there's no treasures up there that I'm missing. That's why I can take this path and jump all these screens. <gasps> ah! Lost a couple of points. I'm going for it. This is screen 108. And this will take me to 163. So this, this is the longest underground... Oh, no! I picked the wrong one! No! Oh, I think I counted wrong. That's going to that's gonna do it for me. That, that's not going to... i got to go back. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I did that. It's got to be this one, then. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. I screwed up. Oh, man. I don't think I can do it. Let's just see what happens. I'm probably going to be like a a minute shy at this point now. Oh my gosh. Now I'm really screwing up. I'm flustered. <laughs> oh. And I have to backtrack here as well. I 
don't think I think I screwed up. This ain't right. Daggone it. I screwed up. I'm, I'm done. Attempt number one. Fail. Alright guys, here comes attempt number two. The first one, I made a mistake. Uh, having this camera on is really giving me... I gotta act like the camera's not there. But trying to talk to the camera and do some narration is throwing me off. I, I miscounted and screwed up. So, here comes attempt number two. <gasps> no! Oh man, the button didn't work. Dang it. There goes my perfect score. I want to keep going though. You know what? Nope. All right, guys. <clears throat> attempt number three. This might be my final final attempt for tonight because I'm getting frustrated. I'm tired. I've worked all day. It's kind of late, and I'm not on top of my game. I'm making stupid mistakes. What? All right, guys, <clears throat> this is my fourth attempt tonight. I'm tired, I'm not I'm not doing this well. This might be the last one, probably will be the last one if I don't make it. I'm getting frustrated and I keep making stupid mistakes early on. <clears throat> so give us one more shot and if not, I'll regroup tomorrow. I screwed up already. Oh my gosh, yep. I'm supposed to go down there. <sighs> uh! All right, guys. Fifth and final attempt. I've got to. I've got to act like this camera isn't there. I'm not even counting right. So I'm gonna be quiet. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. So this is the second time I have to backtrack. Ah, I knew that was there. Darn it. 165. 166. 167. 183. Five minutes left. I don't know if I can do it. 98. It's gonna be close. 199. 207. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 208. That was close. 218. 219. 220. No! 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 Dang it! <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, guys. This is 100% without a doubt my last attempt tonight. This is my fifth attempt. Here I go. 207. <clears throat> oh, dang it. Oh no. Oh my gosh. 208. <laughs> 209. Lost precious seconds. 217. I don't think I can do it. 218. There's no way. I think I have one treasure. No, two treasures left. 122. One minute. 223. This is intense. 224, 225, there's no way, nope, not going to happen, 226, 227, there's no way, 30 seconds, I got one treasure left, but Twenty-eight. It's not gonna happen. Ah. Uh, Twenty seconds. Twenty-nine. There's no way. Fifteen seconds. Oh man. 
Nope. Well. There you have it. I don't think I mapped it right. Because I had to make it to 236 to 242 and then all the way to 249 and I need it like I need at least what, 30 more seconds uh, alright well that's it for tonight I'm going to regroup and figure out what I did wrong here I don't think the little mistakes I made cost me that much time so I don't think what I, I was one treasure short and I needed to go several more screens and I had no time left so Alright, 